On November the 11th, 1918, the First World War ended. The end of such a major part in our history was the beginning of an immense tradition. On the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month, every year thousands of people all over the UK and in other countries around the world remember those who were lost fighting for our freedom in the war. However, Remembrance Day is not just about the First and Second World Wars. It is also about people that were lost in the wars that are still happening today. Remembrance Day is a time to pay your respects, as without our soldiers and ancestors who went through such trauma, we would not be here, safe today. In Flanders fields, the poppies blow. Between the crosses, row on row that mark our place. And in the sky, the larks, still bravely singing, fly. A passage from the world-famous poem, In Flanders Fields, written by Lieutenant John McRae, as he lay in the cold and damp trenches in Flanders in December 1915. This poem inspired an American academic and teacher, Moina Michael, to sell her own handmade silk poppies as an awareness process in November 1918. There is a lot of controversy about wearing the poppy. Some believe it is to do with religion and politics, which is false. Whether you are Christian, Catholic, atheist, or any other religion, it is irrelevant. Wearing a poppy doesn't mean you love war and violence. It means you want to remember the people who lost their lives so that we could live ours. We went to some of the public and asked them a few questions about what Remembrance Day means to them. And we had some great results. It's the Remembrance Day to remember all the heroes and the people that died. Remembrance Day. It means we celebrate the people who died in World War One and World War Two. It means remembering all the people that have fallen before us in conflicts from World War One to World War Two, the Korean War, the Falklands, the fight in Egypt in '52, and anybody else that's fallen <laughs> in conflict. To remember those we lost. It's to remember the fallen out of respect really it's to give thanks to those that gave their lives for us to carry on living hours um, from World War One and for wars since then for everyone that's lost their lives for us. Because it was the end of the war. Yes I am in brownies. I have done this as a child I used to be in marching bands and we used to go up and play the last place in Ravalli and take the veterans down the road when I used to live in Brentwood. And I marched at the Cenotaph in 1980. Um, and now my children do it as well. They go to see the fallen and remember them. Yes, every year I go to the Remembrance Parade. Yes, I do. I do the local Clapton Parade for Air Cadets. Yes, it's uh, on the battlefields of World War I, the only thing that grew was the poppies. It was the red of blood, and it's the red to remember them as well. It's a symbol of the sacrifice that everyone gave. The red, I believe, is to do with the colour of blood, um, but it's also from a poem back in World War I in Flanders Fields. My granddad. Yes, my father-in-law and me husband's uncle. My granddad did. And both granddads fought in the war. And my great granddad died in the war and my dad was in the Navy. I had friends in the Falklands that died on the Atlantic Causeway. Uh, got injured and badly maimed on the Sagama Head. I had a great uncle who I never met who died in World War II. He was a flight sergeant. Yeah, absolutely, because without the people that gave their lives, without the 
the wars that have gone on, people fighting for us, they're fighting for our freedom, they've given up their lives for us to actually have a life now and have a future. Yes, definitely. It should be, it should be taught in schools more for young children to remember it. Without these people, we wouldn't be here. We'd be potentially speaking a foreign language. Now it's down to you. Please, help keep this tradition alive. Celebrate with us. Be proud to wear your poppy. I'm proud to wear my poppy. I'm proud to wear my poppy. I'm proud to wear my poppy. I am proud to wear my poppy. I'm proud to wear my poppy. I'm proud to wear my poppy. And I am proud to wear my poppy. Please keep the tradition going.